Unfortunately, the number of cases is rising. And in some parts of the country, so for instance, some of the tier three areas are seeing sharp rises in cases. And each week we, cut, we look at all of the areas of the country to check that they're in the right position in terms of the tiers. But it, it, it is a very difficult situation in terms of the growth of the of the virus. But then we also have this very good news this morning. Indeed. It's a real uh, pivotal moment with the, the arrival actually in the hospitals of, uh, of the UK of the Oxford vaccine. But just in terms of, of the national lockdown, I suppose, as you know, by the leader of the opposition, that isn't within the government thinking then right now, is it? Well, we don't rule anything out. And we've shown <laughs> repeatedly that we will look at the public health advice and we'll take the public health advice in terms of what's needed to control the spread of the disease. Now, this new variant is much easier to catch. It's much more transmissible. Uh, and we're now seeing the effect of that in lots of different parts of the country, unfortunately. And it means that, you know, whereas t the old Tier 3 was able to contain the old variant, that is proving increasingly difficult in, in all parts. I'm very worried about the new South African variant that we've seen. And that's why we've taken the very robust action to stop flights from South Africa. And my concern is that it is, seems to be even more easy to transmit than the new variant that we've seen here. And obviously, it, it's been a huge challenge controlling the new variant uh, that, we've, that we've seen in the UK. Now, thankfully, there isn't evidence of very much spread of the South African variant here. We've seen two cases, but we haven't seen any further cases since then. But we've got to keep an eagle eye on this one because it is, it is even harder to deal with than the UK variant.